place. I'm turning back. No, not yet. It's not worth the risk. We can't find out anything in a, in a storm like this. The Navy won't take that for an answer. <laughs> They're gonna have to. Admiral, every ship we've lost in this area reported a storm like this and vanished. Now I have to find out how and why. Well, we can't find out if we're lost, too. <laughs> We can't take any more of this. We're heading back to see you. We're not going back. Another move like that and you'll wind up in a brig. Admiral, four of our largest ships have been lost without a trace. Now we have to find the answer. square rigger. That is impossible. The storm must have knocked it. Storm? There's no sign of it. Well, it sure left its mark. The controls don't respond. They're dead in the water. <sighs> Flying sub to sea view. Flying sub to sea view. Sylvia, this is Nelson. Do you read me? Nothing. Can you make repairs? Well, if it's not too serious. But in any case, we're going to do a little exploring first. That island? Why? Well, it might hold the answer to the missing ships. Maybe even our uh, square rigger. Admiral, we didn't see any square rigger. That was an hallucination, optical illusion. Well, whatever it was, we're still going ashore. Give me a hand with this life raft, will you? Any word from the animal? None. Uh, keep trying. Sparks keeps calling. He just can't raise the flying sub. What could have happened to him? What happened to those four Navy ships that are missing? Well, no sign of any installation here that could have sunk those ships. Well, let's look around. Mm-hmm. Look here. 
It's a cave. Look here, sir. There's some kind of writing. What is that, uh, German? No, sir, that's Dutch. Sure. With a name like Van Wyck? Yes, sir, I'm sure. <laughs> well, uh, how can you make it out? Yes, sir, roughly translated, it reads, uh, Cursed be those who venture through this portal. Oh, that's interesting. Let's find out if it's true, huh? Booby trap. Mm. Thanks. Thanks. Could have killed me. Looks like this place was inhabited once, but uh, he didn't sink those ships. Certainly not with that dagger. A curse upon your head. A curse now and forever. I'm all right. Why shouldn't I be? After what we've just been through, you can ask that? Simple little rock fall while we're investigating the cave. There's nothing to be alarmed about. Wait, 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 wait a minute. What about, uh, what about the curse? Huh? The voice we heard and uh, uh, the square rigger that shot us down. Well, Admiral, I, I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. You're not going to try to deny that this happened to us. Well, I think... Well, let's just say uh, you seem to have a very active imagination. Oh. 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 Oh, what about this? That imagination, too? Oh, that's real enough. Probably some old pirate weapon dropped here centuries ago. Let me have a look at it. No, I, I think not. Obviously, one of us is losing contact with reality. And if it's you, I prefer to keep the weapon, thank you. <laughs> Anything you say, Admiral. Ah. Let's get back to the flying stuff. Now, where's that dispatch from Washington? Here, you are, sir. FS1 from Seaview. FS1 from Seaview. Come in, please. Over. Anything? No, we just can't raise him. Now look at this. Washington just radioed that they want a full report on those missing ships. And on top of that, the whole 11th Fleet is moving right here in this area on maneuvers. Well, isn't that a little risky, sir? I mean, moving the fleet in without knowing what's making our ships disappear? Well, sure it's risky. But that's Washington's decision to make, not ours. The Admiral's nearly an hour overdue. You don't think he could have run into anything, do you? I don't know what he's run into. What about Seaview? What about it? Well, our course is set for the same area. Do we change it? No. Continue on course at plank speed. What do you think? What is there to think? Patrol Engineering. Aye, sir. Proceed on present course. All ahead, flank. All ahead, flank. Aye, sir. Well, let's get the repairs made and head back to see you, sir. What repairs, Admiral? 
Everything seems to be in working order. Nelson to see you. Nelson to see you. Do you read me? Come in, please. Nelson, see you. Come in. Admiral, we've been trying to make contact with you. Is everything all right? Well, we um, we did have some trouble with the storm, but uh, everything's all right now. Uh, uh, what storm are you talking about, Admiral? Well, look, you must have felt it. Your instrumentation must have picked it up. Uh, no, it didn't. We've had nothing but clear weather here. Oh. Oh. Well, I, I guess uh, must have been some local squall that hit us. Uh, but as I said, we're all right now, and uh, we'll be heading back. Good. Uh, did you find out anything about those missing ships? Washington's getting nervous. Nothing, unless it has something to do with the island. Island? Uh, Admiral, uh, there's no island out there. Well, if... Of course there is. We, we, we were just on it. None on the charts. Uh, we don't show on Admiral, but uh, if you were on it, I, uh, I guess it's there. Uh, is it important? I, I, I don't know yet. Uh, we'll talk it over when I get back aboard. Uh, over and out. And shall we be getting back, Admiral? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. See, you know, for a moment, I, I thought that... <laughs> you, you thought what? Sick bay. <laughs> you, uh, you came aboard and you passed out and we brought you down here. Well, I'm, all, I'm all right. I'm not sick. All right, I take it easy. Just, uh... Look, when I tell you I'm all right, I'm all right. Let him, Skipper. Still feeling a little weak, sir? Well, not weak exactly, Doc. Just a little, little bit tired. That's hardly surprising. Characteristic syndrome of a very severe emotional trauma. Mm hmm What about Dunwick? Well, surprisingly enough, he's okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Where is he? 
Uh, he's in his cabin. He should be asleep by now. Did he, did he say anything about the control room? You know, anything unusual uh, or different? Uh... No, why should he? There's nothing wrong. No, 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 of course not. There's nothing wrong. <sighs> Where in the world did you get that? Oh, I, I found it on the, um, on the island. Then there was an island. And what was that about the curse? Well, who said anything about a curse? Oh, you did, in your delirium. You... And you, you told me about the island from the flying sub. But there was no island on the chart. That's what I told you. Uh, and Seaview didn't go through any storm. No. Admiral, what's wrong with you, anyway? I've got to see Van Wick. Admiral, uh, 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 look, uh, I don't know what's happened to you or uh, what's going wrong, but whatever it is, uh, please tell me. Later, I've, I've got to think some things through first. Uh, did you, uh, did you get any word from Washington? Washington? Yes, the whole 11th fleet is moving into this area. They'll want to know if you found out anything about those missing ships. Okay. Well, or if they, if they ask again, tell them to... to... No, no. Uh, tell them I'll get in touch. Oh, I see. This is a restricted area. Nobody's allowed to touch it. How did you get in here? How does anyone enter a cabin? You were too absorbed in the dagger to hear me. I rather doubt that. I checked your cabin. It was empty. I think you've been here all the time. May I have the weapon, please? Why? Admiral, I'm aboard Seaview to investigate the mysterious disappearance of four units of the 11th Fleet. Now, that dagger could be an important clue. I need it. <laughs> Are you asking me to believe that there's a connection between an 18th century dagger and the disappearance of four capital ships? I have reason to believe so, yes. I have reason to believe that you're lying. Now, why? Well, Admiral, you haven't forgotten the curse in the cave, have you? Well, the, the curse was, was nonsense. And the Flying Dutchman? The Flying Dutchman. Well, surely you uh, know the legend. An ancient square rigger lost in time. A ghost ship sailing aimlessly and endlessly the seven seas. What has that got to oh, do with... Admiral, the Flying Dutchman was cursed, just as we're cursed, all of us. You, me, the sea view, the four ships that were lost. You don't really believe that. Why not? You believe it. No. No, it's absurd, illogical. Oh, but true, Admiral. There is a curse on us. But I know how to break it. Now, let me have that dagger. This dagger is going right into this safe. Admiral, I warn you, the entire 11th fleet can be destroyed if that curse isn't broken. Come in. I can't, sir. It's locked. Excuse me, Admiral, I'd uh, like a word with you. All right, what is it? Commander Van Wick, I'm, uh, I'm worried about him. In what way? Well, sir, I found him fooling around with our control systems, and when I asked him a few questions, he clobbed me and ran. Mm -hmm. You tell the captain? Yes, sir, he, he's ordered to search for him. Well, that's, that's not necessary. He's right here. Where, sir? Right here. We were just... We were just...
Flying Dutchman never, never reach the shore. They who see the Flying Dutchman never reach the shore. Flying Dutchman. cabin. Fire detail on the double. Aye, sir. Over here. Get going. <coughs> you can't get far. Lee, how, how much do you know about the Flying Dutchman? I'm taking you to sick bay. No, no, no. I'm going to the control room. What's the weather topside? Uh, heavy seas running before a gale, sir. There's no uh, storm predicted. No, sir, but the weather around the Cape is always tricky. Flying Dutchman always seems to appear in heavy weather. Um, take us up to Periscope Depth. I want to have a look around. Uh, Admiral, I think you should get the sick. Periscope Depth! You uh, heard the Admiral, Trip. Aye, aye, sir. Ten degree up bubble. Level off at 90 feet. Ninety feet and level, sir. Up scope. Torpedo tips are firing. Sir, are you sure you want to give that order? You heard me, Chip. F torpedo tubes ready for immediate firing. Belay that. We're not firing anything, Admiral, except on my specific orders. Then take a look through there and give those orders, unless you want us to disappear like the Navy ships. There's much sense in firing torpedoes at an empty sea, do you? Empty sea? Uh, she's out there, the Flying Dutchman. I tell you, Lee, unless we fire, she'll destroy us. Now take another look. There's nothing out there, Admiral. Nothing. Down scope. What's the matter with you? Are you blind? She's sailing there like a curse of death. Now send the torpedoes after her. Kowalski. What are you picking up? Nothing, sir. Is there any ship at all in the immediate vicinity? No, sir, absolutely nothing. Kowalski, check again. The board's clear, sir. They who see the Flying Dutchman never... never reach the shore. <laughs> What's wrong with him, Lee? What did he see? I don't know. There was nothing on the surface. Absolutely nothing. Admiral Nelson. Hmm? hmm? Who's that? Surrender the dagger, you stole. Surrender the dagger.
surrender the dagger or suffer the curse of the Flying Dutchman. Where are you? I can't understand it. He can't get off the ship. We'll find him. That's better. I don't like the idea of him running around loose. Mr. Morton. Take a look at this. We're right back where we started. Mm-hmm. We've been... We've been sailing in a great circle all night. So I see. Did you know about this? Not, uh, not until just now, sir. Chip, get the navigations officer. I want all the instruments checked out on the double. Chief, give him a hand. All right, sir. Admiral, did you know about this? Oh, I know, I know. We're off course. Well, what do you mean, we're off course? How did you know we're off course? Look, I have been trying to convince you that we're up against forces beyond our control. I'm going to send out a distress call. A distress call? Why? We're in good order and we're proceeding under our own power. We're proceeding where? We're no closer to port than we were last night. And we won't be any closer tomorrow. Well, how do we know we can find the trouble and we can fix it, can't we? Not this trouble. Look, there have been four ships lost in this area. I don't intend for us to be the fifth. Sparks, send out a general distress call. Aye, aye, sir. Sparks, belay that. You can't stop me from making this call. I am stopping you. You're in no condition to make any decisions because of some delusion about a flying Dutchman. Oh, and uh, you are determined to protect me for myself. Is that it? Yes, sir. That's it. Mm -hmm. Skipper. Pick up a ship on the surface, sir, bearing 015 relative range, 2,000 yards in closing. The Flying Dutchman. Now, do you believe me? It's a freighter, not a Flying Dutchman. Ah, just, uh, just a freighter, huh? Just a freighter. All right. I want to talk to the captain. Why? I want to talk to him. Sparks, there's a ship within 2,000 yards of us. Contact her in the clear. Ask to speak to a captain. Aye, sir. Why are you doing this? Oh, I don't know. Perhaps I want to find out if we can still contact the outside world. Lee, we can't find a malfunction in any of our instruments. Navigation officer is still working on it. Very well. Take the car. All right. We'll see what luck Sparks is having. Mm-hmm. Admiral? Ben Wick. Why don't you face facts, Admiral? It's impossible to contact that ship up there, or any other ship, anywhere. Who are you? And what are you? I think you know. Just as you know, you're doomed. You'll never contact the outside world again. <laughs> I just don't understand it, Skipper. Can't you contact them? Well, my transmitter's working. I double-checked it, but there's no reply. There might as well be nobody up there. All right. Secure the call. Aye, sir. We can't raise them. Oh? And how does Sparks explain that? He can't. 
Uh, it's surface. I want to try a visual signal. Admiral, the seas are running pretty high. We can still try surface. Chip, take us up. Surface in that storm? Take us up. Prepare the surface. Stand by the blow ballast. Engineering, what's wrong down there? Engineering, what's the trouble down there? Now, this is a captain engineering report. Maybe the freighter rammed us. She wasn't close enough. Lee, you better have another look. I tell you, she wasn't up. <laughs> has something to do with a cave on that island that you discovered. Am I right? You still don't believe me, do you? Well, the, the explanation's simple enough. It, uh, there must have been some kind of volcanic gas on the island that uh, produced hallucinations. And if you said you saw the Flying Dutchman fire at us, were you hallucinating then? Is, is this an hallucination? No, it's real. Well, what does it prove? What does it mean? Well, it has something to do with the curse. I think that Van Wyck would like to uh, kill me with this dagger. Let me look at that, will you? Sure. I have a book here that gives a detailed account of the legend of the Flying Dutchman. It all started when a Dutch ship, the Amsterdam, failed to return after a lengthy voyage. And, uh, well, here it is. And according to the legend, the ship and the crew were somehow cursed, fated to sail the seas forever, unless the curse could somehow be broken. In that case, the Amsterdam would sink, and its doomed crew would turn into skeletons. So you see. <laughs> According to navigation, we're sailing this course. Right along the circumference. Our controls are still frozen. We just keep sailing in an endless circle. Mm -hmm. And inside the circle, we have this point here. Four capital ships were lost, and right here in the center is where we discovered that island. I know. 
know there has to be a connection, but I, I just don't see it. <laughs> no, I'm not certain I do either. But I'm going to have a crack at something. Chief, how long will it take you to get the bell ready for a deep dive? Oh, about 15 minutes, sir. Mm. I'll settle for 10. I see. Come on, Skeet. Let's go. Well, what are you going to do? What am I going to do? I'm going hunting. For a flying Dutchman. All right, Scotty. Finish her up. Everything okay with the cable? I've got 2,000 feet of it on the drum. That enough? Oh, plenty. Then we're all set. Okay. Are you ready to lower the bell, Chief? I right, sir. Yeah. I don't like this, Admiral. Do you have to go alone? Oh, I'll be all right, Lee. We're ready to lower away, sir. Very well. Go ahead. Okay, Ski. Slow it down. Right, sir. Slower, not faster. I'm doing it, nothing seems to happen. Here, let me take that. Too fast, it's another one. Something, something's giant. If that cable runs out, we'll lose him. Cut the power. We've lost him, sir. Slow the descent. Save you. Save you to your evening. We read you, Admiral. Something went wrong with the controls. We slipped the cable. You mean you can't hold me back up? Oh, not until we pick up the cable. <laughs> well, that's gonna take some doing. Stand by. I gotta hit bottom. <laughs> What happened? I, I'm on the bottom, but the impact smashed my reserve air tank. Uh, air, air, how much do you have left? About, uh, about 20 minutes, no longer. Well, uh, you're too deep for divers. We can bring the sea view down and try to grapple for the cable. Uh, that's our only chance. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I've got a better idea. It might, uh, might save time. <laughs> Admiral, come in. Come in, Admiral. We're listening. I might have known you'd be here. Of course. You don't think I'd let you make such a perilous trip alone, do you? I wouldn't do you any good, you know. I feel sorry for you, Nelson, but I have to do this. Why? You don't know the real story of the Flying Dutchman. Probably no one else does either. Save it. We're running out of air. You see, when the Amsterdammer reached this part of the world, the crew demanded the captain set a course for home. Well, he refused. So 
They mutinied. They brought the captain to this island, and the first mate killed him. But with his dying breath, he put a curse on them, saying they'd never again reach port. And you were the first mate? I am the first mate. Huh? What's the matter, Chip? I ordered the deep dive, and we're still at 90 feet. Something's gone wrong with the induction valve. We can't fill the ballast tanks. It's impossible. Excuse me, sir. It was impossible to run out 2,000 feet of cable, but we did it just the same. I wonder what the Admiral was trying to say before we got cut off. Oh, well, maybe something about how we could recover the cable. Well, it had to be that, Chief, but how? It can't be a diving party, not at that depth. Say, Chip, now that gear he put in the flying sub, is it ready to launch? We gave her a routine check during the last watch. She's ready. Oh. Chief, come with me. Aye, aye, sir. You can't hold out much longer, Nelson. You'll be ready soon to take my place. Take your place? Once you die by that dagger, then I'll be free. Then it'll be you who'll roam the seven seas till you find somebody to take your place, as I've found you. So that's it. Give me the dagger. It's of no use to you now. You'll make a worthy replacement. Your plan to come down here was actually a sound one. Look. Flying Dutchman. I knew she had to be down here this night. No other place you could have come from. And you thought the weaponry aboard this bell would be able to destroy her, huh? There's only one way to end this. Give me the dagger. Nelson, your time has nearly run out. Uh, see if we'll get to the end time. Hardly. I've arranged it so that she can neither surface nor dive. Just sail in that constant circle till the end of time. You... It's like four ships in, the, in these waters. Uh, surely... Surely there, there must have been one man aboard who uh, served your purpose. Well, unfortunately, they all died before I could get one of them to my island. You see, only the man who removed the dagger, as you did, and received the Dutchman's curse could relieve me of it. Just a few seconds more, Nelson. You and the Sea View will be the new Flying Dutchman. seconds. There it is. Can you 
operation from here. destroyed. You know the coordinates. Set the firing mechanism. Where's Van Wick, wasn't he? Van Wick, sir? Oh, no, no. Of course, he, he, he wouldn't be. What about Van Wick? If I told you, you, you wouldn't believe me. Missile ready for firing. Oh, fire. Captain. Touch that button and you're dead. Move away from that panel. I mean what I say, Captain. Move! Imagine it all. Well, we didn't imagine this. And Navy records still show four ships lost without a trace. Well, there's one thing we know. The 11th Fleet won't have to worry about losing any more warships. Well, what kind of a report are you on file with Washington? <laughs> you know, Lee, that is a very good question. I only wish I knew the answer. <laughs>
it looks like this place was inhabited once, but uh, he didn't sink those ships. Certainly not with that dagger. A curse upon your head. A curse now and forever. It's a cave-in. Let's get out of here. I'm all right. Why shouldn't I be? After what we've just been through, you can ask that? Simple little rockfall while we're investigating the cave. Excuse me, Admiral. I'd uh, like a word with you. All right, what is it? Commander Van Wick, I'm, uh, I'm worried about him. In what way? Well, sir, I found him fooling around with our control systems, and when I asked him a few questions, he clobbered me and ran. Mm -hmm. You tell the captain? Yes, sir. He, he's ordered to search for him. Well, that's, that's not necessary. He's right here. Where, sir? Right here. We were just... We were just... Never, never reach the shore. They who see the Flying Dutchman never reach the shore. Flying Dutchman. Anything about the control room? You know, is there anything unusual uh, or different? Uh... No, why should he? There's nothing wrong. No, 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 of course not. There's nothing wrong. <sighs> Where in the world did you get that? Oh, I, I found it on the, um, on the island. Then there was an island. And what was that about the curse? Well, who said anything about a curse? Oh, you did, in your delirium. You... And you, you told me about the island from the Flying Sub. But there was no island on the chart. That's what I told you. Uh, and Seaview didn't go through any storm. No. Admiral, what's wrong with you, anyway? I've got to see Van Wick. Admiral, look, mm -hmm. uh, uh, look uh, I don't know what's happened to you or uh, what's going wrong, but whatever it is, uh, please tell me. Later, I've got to think some things through first. Uh, did, you, uh, did you get any word from Washington? Washington? Yes, the whole 11th Fleet is moving into this area. They'll want to know if you found out anything about those missing ships. Okay. Well, or if they, if they ask again, tell them to... to, to no, no. Uh, tell them I'll get in touch. Oh, I see. Just, uh, just a freighter, huh? Just a freighter. All right. I want to talk to the captain. Why? I want to talk to him. Sparks, there's a ship within 2,000 yards of us. Contact her in the clear. Ask to speak to a captain. Aye, sir. Why are you doing this? Oh, I don't know. Perhaps I want to find out if we can still contact the outside world. Lee. 
We can't find a malfunction in any of our instruments. Navigation officer is still working on it. Very well. Take the car. All right. We'll see what luck Sparks is having. Mm-hmm. Admiral? Ben Wick, why don't you face facts, Admiral? It's impossible to contact that ship up there, or any other ship, anywhere. Who are you? And what are you? I think you know. Just as you know you're doomed, you'll never contact the outside world. Looks like this place was inhabited once, but uh, he didn't sink those ships. Certainly not with that dagger. A curse upon your head. A curse now and forever. It's a cave-in. Let's get out of here. I'm all right. Why shouldn't I be? After what we've just been through, you can ask that? Simple little rock fall while we're investigating the cave. There's nothing to be alarmed about. Wait, 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 wait a minute. What about, uh, what about the curse, huh? Boys. Ah, oh, just, uh, just a freighter, huh? Just a freighter. All right. I want to talk to the captain. Why? I want to talk to him. Sparks, there's a ship within 2,000 yards of us. Contact her in the clear. Ask to speak to a captain. Aye, sir. But why are you doing this? Oh, I don't know. Perhaps I want to find out if we can still contact the outside world. Lee, we can't find a malfunction in any of our instruments. Navigation officer is still working on it. Very well. Take the car. All right. We'll see what luck Sparks is having. Mm-hmm. Admiral? Ben Wick, why don't you face facts, Admiral? It's impossible to contact that ship up there, or any other ship, anywhere. Who are you? And what are you? I think you know. Just as you know you're doomed, You'll never contact the outside world again. I just don't understand it, Skipper. Can't you contact them? Well, my transmitter's working. I double-checked it, but there's no reply. There might as well be nobody up there. The controls don't respond. They're dead in the water. Flying sub to sea view. Flying sub to Seaview. Seaview, this is Nelson. Do you read me? Nothing. Can you make repairs? Well, if it's not too serious. But in any case, we're going to do a little exploring first. That island? Why? Well, it might hold the answer to the missing ships. Maybe even our uh, square rigger. Admiral, we didn't see any square rigger. That was an hallucination, optical illusion. Well, whatever it was, we're still going ashore. Give me a hand with this life raft, will you? Any word from the animal? None. I'll keep trying. Sparks keeps calling. He just can't raise the flying sub. What could have happened to him? What happened to those four Navy ships that are missing?
Where? Thought what? See, you know, for a moment, I, I thought... <laughs> you, you thought what? Sick bay. <laughs> you, uh, you came aboard and you passed out and we brought you down here. Uh, I'm, all, I'm all right. I'm not sick. All right, take it easy. Just... Uh... Look, when I tell you I'm all right, I'm all right. Let him, Skipper. Still feeling a little weak, sir? Well, not weak exactly, Doc. Just a little, little bit tired. It's hardly surprising. Characteristic syndrome of a very severe emotional trauma. Well, it looks like this place was inhabited once, but uh, he didn't sink those ships. Certainly not with that dagger.
curse upon your head. A curse now and forever. It's a cave-in. Let's get out of here. I'm all right. Why shouldn't I be? After what we've just been through, you can ask that? Simple little rock fall while we're investigating the cave. There's nothing to be alarmed about. Wait, 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 wait a minute. What about, uh, what about the curse? Huh? The voice we heard and uh, uh, the square rigger that shot us down. Well, Admiral, I... I'm afraid I don't know what been to that we're up against forces beyond our control. I'm going to send out a distress call. A distress call? Why? We're in good order and we're proceeding under our own power. We're proceeding where? We're no closer to Portland than we were last night. And we won't be any closer tomorrow. Well, how do we know we can find the trouble and we can fix it, can't we? Not this trouble. Look, there have been four ships lost in this area. I don't intend for us to be the fifth. Sparks, send out a general distress call. Aye, aye, sir. Sparks, belay that. You can't stop me from making this call. I am stopping you. You're in no condition to make any decisions because of some delusion about a flying Dutchman. Oh, and uh, you are determined to protect me for myself. Is that it? Yes, sir. That's it. Mm -hmm. Skipper. I think I have a ship on the surface, sir, bearing 015 relative range. 2,000 yards in closing. The Flying Dutchman. Now, do you believe me? It's a freighter, not a Flying Dutchman. So... Nelson, your time has nearly run out. Uh, see if you'll get to me in time. Hardly. I've arranged it so that she can neither surface nor dive. Just sail in that constant circle till the end of time. You... It's like four ships in, the, in these waters. Uh, surely... Surely there, there must have been one man aboard who uh, served your purpose. Well, unfortunately, they all died before I could get one of them to my island. You see, only the man who removed the dagger, as you did, and received the Dutchman's curse could relieve me of it. Just a few seconds more, Nelson. You and the Sea View will be the new Flying Dutchman. Blood at the deep dive, and we're still at 90 feet. Something's gone wrong with the induction valve. We can't fill the ballast tanks. It's impossible. Excuse me, sir. It was impossible to run out 2,000 feet of cable, but we did it just the same. I wonder what the Admiral was trying to say before we got cut off. Oh, maybe something about how we could recover the cable. Well, it had to be that, Chief, but how? It can't be a diving party, not at that depth. Say, Chip, now that gear we put in the flying sub, is it ready to launch? We gave her a routine check during the last watch. She's ready. Oh. Chief, come with me. Aye, aye, sir. can't hold out much longer, Nelson. You'll be ready soon to take my place. Take your place? Once you die by that dagger, then I'll be free. Then it'll be you who roam the seven seas till you find somebody to take your place, as I've found you. 
So that's it. Give me the dagger. It's of no use to you now. You'll make a worthy replacement. Your plan to come down here was actually a sound one. Look. Flying Dutchman. I knew she had to be down here. There's no other place she could have come from.